Welcome to our lecture online, and now let's take a look at all the multiplication tables all at once. At first, you look at it and then go, wow, that's a big task trying to memorize all those numbers, but actually, it's not that bad, and I'll tell you why it's not that bad. When you start with the first few right here, multiplying times 2 and multiplying times 3, those are not that hard, because in the case of multiplying times 2, you simply add 2 to every answer. So 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 3 is 6, and so forth. So the pattern is readily recognizable and easy to remember. Even when we multiply times 3, again, notice that the numbers jump up by 3, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, and so those are not that bad to remember. Multiplying times 5 is also really easy. Notice I did skip multiplying times 4. But when I jump from multiplying with 3 to multiplying by 5, notice that each answer either ends in a 5 or a 0. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, and those are also easy to remember. And then when we multiply times 4, notice it simply double when we multiply times 2. The answer here is 2, the answer here is 4. 4, the answer is 8. 6, the answer is 12. 8, the answer is 16. In other words, 4 times 4 is twice as much as 2 times 4, and 4 times 5 is twice as much as 2 times 5, and 4 times 6 is twice as much as 2 times 6, and so forth. So you can see that the first four tables, multiply times 2, multiply times 3, times 4, times 5, they're fairly easy to remember. Now let's go to the more difficult ones, but again, notice that if you look at multiplying times 6, 6 times 1, 6 times 2, 6 times 3, well, 6 times 2 is the same as 2 times 6, and 6 times 3 is the same as 3 times 6, which means that if you look at these numbers right here, the answers right here, those are the same answers as when you multiply 2 times 6, 3 times 6, 4 times 6, and 5 times 6. We have 12, 18, 24, and 30, 12, 18, 24, and 30. So if you remember how to multiply 4 times 6, which is 24, then it's very easy to remember that 6 times 4 is also 24. And so you can see that by already having memorized these, which are not as hard, you also have memorized a lot of those. For example, we can look at these right here, and come over here, and notice that 2 times 7, 14, 3 times 7, 21, and so forth, you get the same answers here as you do over here. And when you look at those answers right here, you get the same answers as when you look at these. But in other words, if you remember what 4 times 8 is, 32, and then you see 8 times 4 and you don't remember, then you say, well, 8 times 4 is the same as 4 times 8, therefore it's 32, and that's how you have less work to do to memorize these numbers. And also, of course, for these four numbers, you get the same answers as what you find over here. Although, I think that neat trick that I showed you in the previous video of how to multiply times 9 is probably better to use than this. Which then leaves you with just a smaller number of relatively hard ones to remember. However, again, for some of these we have some really neat tricks, such as 7 times 8 is 56, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 8 times 7 is 56, 5, 6, 7, 8. Notice whenever you multiply times 9, you simply multiply times 10 and subtract that number from it. 6 times 9 is the same as 6 times 10 minus 6. 7 times 9 is the same as 7 times 10 minus 7. 8 times 9 is the same as 8 times 10 minus 8, and 9 times 9 is the same as 9 times 10 minus 9. So, when it really comes down to it, these are fairly easy to remember. Those are simply duplicates of what we already learned over here. Multiplying times 10 is, of course, really easy, and I believe multiplying times 9 is easy too. What it really comes down to, then, is memorizing these right in here, and that's a total of 16 numbers, and again, you'll begin to see patterns such as 7 times 8 being 56, 8 times 7 being 56. I think I ran out of duplicates. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's right. But definitely, you can see then you only have a few numbers to remember. And now that I look at this box with all the ones that I've circled and underlined, there's only a few that I have to find special tricks for in order to remember them. And 
in, in all, when you think and look at all the members, all the duplication that you have, you can see that it's actually pretty easy to remember all these various multiplication tables. Give that a try and see what you think. And that's how we do that.